advice that they are saying about the man we love so much and our best friend R. Kelly. It has been said that I have left him and he has abused me and all kinds of nonsense. I have said before, none of it is true. It is a shame how they are treating him. It is so wrong on so many levels and he does not deserve this. I am not going to be a part of the assassination of R. Kelly's name, music career, and his character. How will we ever be able to get a fair trial anywhere in the world with all these lies that are being told on him? Please free him and let him come home in peace. I promise you, he is not the person you guys think he is. He is the best thing that has ever happened to me and Azriel. I talk to him every day, and I see him every two weeks. He truly wants to thank all of his fans for believing in him. Plus, he wants you guys to know that he that he appreciate all of your letters and that he takes and it takes him a while, but he reads them all. I just ask that you guys stop all this nonsense and please give him his voice back. I also want to say, please do not believe what you see and hear on social media. That is not my Instagram. Someone is impersonating me. I just want everyone to know we still support him and we will never portray him. Me and Azrael will forever love him. I truly apologize to all of the fans that has been going through this tough time, you know, and I truly, I understand it has been hell for me and Azrael as well. So we do appreciate all the love and all the positivity you guys have been giving us and, you know, I know, I know it's a lot going on, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm staying positive. You know, I'm not getting nowhere by being negative. I breathe positivity. I manifest that into my life, okay? That's, that's not me. I'm not even that kind of girl that would do something like that and portray him. I've been through so much with him, and we have a bond that is so special that no one can that no one ever can break like this is truly coming from my heart I would never in a million years I would never in a million years hurt him like this I would never do that so it's just really 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 sad that somebody would pretend to be me pretend to be me and put it out in the world and say that I'm a victim that I am brainwashed okay I'm a sex slave Lord have mercy it, it doesn't get worse than that uh, and that I have Stockholm Syndrome, that is just really, really sad. And I'm just really heartbroken for all of this that is going on. Um, you guys, we, me and Azrael, we still...